exploring the artificial carbon cycle, the key to sustainable space exploration. Welcome back to our channel, Space Enthusiasts. Today, we're diving into a fascinating topic that could revolutionize space exploration as we know it, the artificial carbon cycle. Inspired by Earth's natural process, scientists and researchers are developing innovative ways to harness the power of artificial photosynthesis to address resource supply challenges for future space missions. So, let's get started. Understanding the carbon cycle host, before we delve into the artificial carbon cycle, let's first understand the natural carbon cycle on Earth. The carbon cycle is a complex process that involves the movement of carbon atoms between the atmosphere and the Earth's surface. Through solar energy and photosynthesis, plants and other organisms convert carbon dioxide, CO2, into oxygen and organic compounds. Now, you might be wondering why we need an artificial carbon cycle for space exploration. Well, transporting basic necessities like oxygen, fuel, and life support systems to extraterrestrial sites is not only logistically challenging but also incredibly costly. Imagine if we could recreate the carbon cycle on other planets or moons. We could produce our own propellants and life support systems, significantly reducing our dependence on Earth. One of the most promising approaches to implementing artificial photosynthesis is through photocatalytic CO2 conversion. This process involves using specially designed catalysts to convert CO2 into useful products, such as oxygen and hydrocarbons. However, there's one major challenge we need to overcome, efficiency. Currently, the efficiency of this conversion process needs improvement to make it viable for space missions. Researchers and scientists have outlined several principles and discussed various challenges associated with developing this technology for extraterrestrial applications. Factors such as catalyst stability, selectivity of products, and energy requirements need to be carefully considered. Despite these challenges, the potential benefits of an artificial carbon cycle in space exploration are immense. As we conclude today's video, it's important to emphasize that further research and development are necessary to achieve excellent efficiency and product selectivity for both Earth and extraterrestrial sites. With advancements in materials science, nanotechnology, and renewable energy, we're inching closer to unlocking the full potential of artificial photosynthesis. So, stay tuned for more updates on this exciting field. That's all for today's video, Space Explorers. We hope you enjoyed learning about the artificial carbon cycle and its potential impact on space missions. If you found this video informative, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more captivating content. Until next time, keep reaching for the stars.